Retired Australia batsman Simon Kadich has rejected Michael Clarke's claim they reconciled after an infamous dressing room fight in 2009. A disagreement between the pair peaked with a physical altercation after a victory at the Sydney Cricket Ground. It is one of many old wounds reopened with the publication of the former Australia captain's autobiography. The book's release has also become part of the latest chapter in the love-hate story between Clark and Australia. Eight years ago, Kadich reportedly grabbed then-vice-captain Clark by the shirt over a disagreement about when the team song would be sung. Clark claimed that the two cricketers had put their issues behind them and had met for the occasional coffee, a claim Kadich denies. Kadich, who last played for the national side in 2010, told the Australian Broadcasting Corporation it was an exaggeration to say, as Clark does in his book, that they are now friends. It's a bit of a stretch of the imagination given I've hardly spoken about it since it all happened, and obviously haven't played since he took over as captain, he said. It comes after Shane Watson responded to part of the book where Clark described the all-rounder as being like a two-more on the team. Watson responded saying the comments were disappointing and that they revealed more about Clark than anything else. Kadich referenced the row with Watson in his response. I don't want to be drawn into it too much because it's old news, Kadich said, but I saw Shane Watson's comments during the week and I thought he hit the nail on the head with it. I thought it was rather ironic that he was called the tumor. He added, I guess at the moment he's trying to sell a book, so it's amazing how more and more of the story comes out. Kadich and Clark share a happier moment during 2005. During his playing days, Clark was a divisive figure. The Australian public struggled to reconcile his on-field talent with a perception of a flashy off-field lifestyle. Eighteen months after his retirement from international cricket, the book has done little to dispel public perceptions. Clark's book paints a picture of a captaincy born amid suspicion from teammates and public, and which ended amid tragedy and a protracted battle with his employers, surmised Peter Laller in The Australian. People will buy his book, but will they buy him? Asked Anthony Sharwood, The Huffington Post Australia's sports editor.